everybody. Uh, I want to do a video lesson here on NLNK uh, and why you don't short this shit here, okay? Um, so some of you may say, yeah, you could have caught a pullback. But from highs, like you could have you grabbed this, this double top here, right? But this isn't a, a trade that you're, you're necessarily really looking for. Yeah, you could have got over a point, and, that, and that's fine. There are ways to scalp this, but as I'm sure you've seen all over um, social media, and I called this out in, ch in chat not to fucking short this today because this is what it's going to do. It's going to chop. It's going to trap people. It's going to trap both shorts and longs all day long and that's exactly what it what it did um i'm not a big fan of you know um like playing the range like some people will um long or short the these range bound stocks and that's fine i mean that's that's their prerogative but uh that's that's just not uh what i teach at, uh, at trick trades um, there was opportunity yes but um i warned against nlnk for a reason and i'll show you why I don't know why these guys don't learn. I, I don't quite understand. I mean, they've been doing this shit long enough and they still want to wrestle with a fucking gorilla. So this chart reeked of a long and a day two continuation. I called that out in my watch list that I gave to my members and I said, be watching for a continuation, especially break of highs. <clears throat> um, you can see right here, let me zoom in, mark this line for you guys, okay? Okay, now you see how it tested, it tested where it, where it gapped up and then it, it dropped out a little bit, it tapped down. It tapped this support area, okay, of the close um, from Thursday. Um, that's a good solid indication that this is a long, okay. Um, it bounced off support, it didn't break down. And to want to fight this is ridiculous. I I, I still I don't know. I'm I'm just floored because I'm I'm just uh, the reason why I'm doing this is I'm going through my uh, social media and noticing on uh, INSM <clears throat> how many people got fucking taken for it for a ride on this and it's it's ridiculous. These guys have been doing this shit long enough. They should know that I or uh, NL or INSM sorry on NLNK um, that uh, they've been doing this long enough. They should know this is a day two. You don't fuck with day two. <clears throat> if there's going to be a continuation, it'll be a day two move and what you watch for. And as soon as it does this, you don't fuck with it. As soon as it breaks highs. Okay. Now, as soon as it does that, and I like to mark this up, it is marked out on a, on another chart, but I do like to mark that, um, is the first level of resistance and this thing was an animal. I mean, we caught this long actually in in chat. Uh, it was a, it was a clear long. I took the uh, the profit taking wash on it and made a few bucks. Uh, and then that's just a quick scalp trade. It's a, a strategy I use to uh, pad my account for the uh, to get prepared for the uh, the rest of the day. Um, and it's a strategy that works quite well um, that I'll that I teach in trick trades if you're interested. Um, so. <clears throat> This here, I ended up, I was a little bit late to the party because I was uh, managing other positions, but I got in for the 1750 break. My uh, average was 16 or 1758 and then uh, basically peeled it off pretty much right at highs at, uh, or not at highs, but uh, this first push um, right around the 19. I peeled some off at 18, right before the 18 and then right before the 19. So really nice trade on that. But, and I warned, I warned everyone in chat. I said, do not touch NLNK because this is going to rope people in long and short. It's just, it's going to trade extremely, uh, trappy and that's what it did. So I just want to give you guys a heads up on, on these types of moves. When you get a day two continuation move on the second day where it breaks highs, stay the fuck away from it short. You, you're just going to end up damaging your account like all these guys did. And uh, quit following people on Twitter. Don't don't be doing that. Um, it's going it, to, it, it's just going to damage your account. A lot of these guys, um, they're, they're very good traders, but they also have very big accounts and they can withstand that hit. You guys, if you're watching this video, Nine out of ten of you do not have that big account and cannot handle a hit or experience pain. Um, so don't don't be shorting these day two um, continuations. Uh, that's that's just like shorting 101, and uh, it, it's a, it's a rule that should be in your 
in your playbook and uh, you should uh, really respect that rule on day twos. Do not fuck with them. They're uh, uh, cause this is the type of move that you're going to get. Uh, they're not to be fucked with. Okay. Especially when you have a crazy amount of volume on the first day like this, you know that there's going to be a lot of traders interested. Uh, so yeah, you have to respect your stops, uh, to anyone to be in short, if they were holding, um, let's say they got in either pre-market or they were holding, uh, around the close, they got in towards the close on Thursday. If they're holding over this 1450 area, they should have their head examined. Uh, this thing is obviously, I mean, it's written all over uh, the chart here. It's it's going to ramp, um, guaranteed. So don't be uh, don't be fucking around with day two continuations. Uh, that's basically the gist of this uh, this video lesson. I I hope it helps because I see a lot of people got fucking taken on this uh, yesterday and completely unnecessary and I mean it, to me that's a rookie mistake um, so okay guys I'll let you go and uh, leave a comment below and make sure you uh, like share and subscribe thanks guys